Hi breathers and welcome to how to train your diaphragm part two. In this video, we'll be creating more flexibility throughout our diaphragm. That way we're able to stretch it and take bigger breaths and ultimately fit more air into the lungs. Now, if you haven't already watched part one of this mini series, pop on over to that video now so you can understand why we're trying to train our diaphragm to increase our lung capacity, what exactly the diaphragm is in the first place, and get a tip on how to strengthen it. Now, there are some contraindications for today's technique, so if you happen to be pregnant, have any cardiac issues or neurological issues such as seizures, please refrain from doing these techniques. Now, I'll be instructing the technique and then demoing it because what we're going to be doing is some movement while we hold our breath, and it is very difficult to instruct and hold the breath at the same time. We're going to be doing lateral leans, also known as side bends, and when we get into these side bends, we're going to be swiveling the spine a little bit from side to side, and we're going to do this on both sides with either full lungs or empty lungs. When we get to, we go to one side and then we come to the center. When we get to the center before we switch to the second side, if you feel like you need to take a breath and reset, by all means do so. I'll be demoing on the same breath hold, but I have a lot of practice holding my breath. And the most important part about doing these techniques is that you're comfortable, it's sustainable. When you do eventually come to breathe again, you're not gasping for air. So by all means, take care of yourself. Don't force it. It's not about torturing yourself and just make it sustainable. There's also not a perfect number of time that you hold the breath or you lean or you swivel. Just think of starting a little bit easier and then increasing the length, the depth, and the rotations and the amount of rotations that you're doing. All right, you ready? Take a big deep breath in. Let that breath go. And then you're gonna inhale, reach your arms all the way up, interlace your fingers, bring your hands behind your head, hold your head here and just let the breath go. Now you're gonna take your biggest breath in, fill as much air into the lungs as you can. Use your mouth, even top it off. Really good. Now, the next one we're gonna do is the same thing, except with empty lungs. So remember, for most of us, this is gonna be a little trickier. So take it easy, don't force it. Make sure that there's never any sensation or feeling of pain. For those of you who have never done any diaphragmatic training, in particular stretching, um, creating that flexibility into the diaphragm, you might feel a little pull, you might feel a little more restriction than normal. So don't go too deep, don't go too round. Again, make it sustainable and comfortable, and then eventually you'll be able to progress a little more. All right, ready? Take a reset breath, big breath in. Let it go. And then inhale, reach the arms up, interlace the hands, hold the head. Now empty your whole body of air, even lean forward as you do this to really get as much air out as possible. Really good. So you might have noticed that I blew a little air out before I allowed myself to breathe back in. And that was just to avoid the catch of what happens when you create that vacuum inside your body. Anytime you're going empty lungs and you're emptying it all the way out, it really creates this vacuum inside of you where the air outside of your body wants to rush in. And that can create a catch on your vocal cords. So I opened my glottis by pushing more air out and through it, so that way I could breathe back in. Um, that's a little more advanced, but just know that you wanna avoid this. 
that kind of feeling, that sensation, that sound, try to soften that as much as you can. I hope this technique has served you well. I hope it'll create a lot of flexibility and a little fun into your diaphragmatic training. If you have any questions whatsoever, you can pop them down into the comments below. You can also email us at info at breathguidance.com. And if you're not already a breather, you should be. Go to breathguidance.com, pop your email address in the get notified box. That way you can get breath bonuses just like this straight into your email box every single Monday. I'm Danny May. It's a pleasure sharing these tips and tricks with you, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.